to quote your players for the final. From Surrey, Aaron McKibbin. And from Middlesex, welcome Ashley Facey Thompson. So the players have been introduced to the crowd. They now make their ways to their respective corners. Categories. The first five categories are for the wheelchair players, categories one to five. Six to ten are for the standing players. And the 11th gold medal that's up for grabs, category 11, is for the intellectual uh, disability players. So 11 gold medals um, in men's singles and indeed in women's singles as well. Here we've combined categories seven to ten. The higher the classification, the greater the mobility. And here we have Ashley Facey Thompson, who played out in Rio. I had the pleasure of watching him play out there, commentating on him, 24 years of age. He's from London, and he plays in class nine. And in class nine, he's world ranked at number 10. So a class nine player, top 10 in the world. And he's improving massively as time goes on. Oh, well, yes, yes. Improve, we remains to be seen. So there we have confirmation. Aaron McGibbon, Ashley Facey Thompson. We saw Aaron Gibbon a little bit earlier in his match against Shea Thackeray. He won very convincingly there. Three games to nil. This final is the best of five games. But just to remind you that Aaron McGibbon is classified eight. And he's world ranked at 13. So two different classifications, but remember here we are combining the players um, from category 7 to 10, or classification 7 to 10, I should say. Best of five. Each game, as always, to 11 points. Delighted to be joined in the commentary box by Colin Wilson. And Colin, difficult one to predict this, because of course these two players don't play each other on a regular basis because they're different classifications. Both open topspin players, both playing well. Should be a very exciting game. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I think in theory, I mean, they do know each other. They do, they do train together. There's, there's a big training um, permanent camp at uh, English Institute of Sport in Sheffield where there's a lot of training goes on across the classifications. Um, so they won't compete against each other so much. It's great to see them competing here. In theory, I think I'd say that um, uh, Ashley uh, possibly is the favourite. He's higher world ranked and in a higher class and as you say the, the greater the mobility with the higher class um, but that's only in theory um, so let's see how it goes okay. here Facey and I think the shape serve. of the game will probably take take shape pretty quickly in the first game with the the left-handed Ashley serving love one one all Good topspin there. One, two. From Facey Thompson. Brushed up the back of the ball. A lot of spin. The ball was fizzing with topspin then. Ashley blocking well Three. there with the backhand. One.
Great Three, counter topspin two. from McGibbon. That was brilliant, wasn't it? A nice backhand loop from Ashley. Then it spins it up. But then look at that topspin down the line. Really difficult to do. Well done, Aaron. Two, four. Good forehand topspin down the line. What, once you play at this higher level, it's fascinating to see how one of the key differences for me, Colin, is players do move the ball around. They play down the line. When you play at a slightly, it's always on the diagonal, but the higher the level. And I think that's one of the hallmarks of a top player. I one agree. Prepared yeah. to go down the line. Yeah, the ability Two, to switch five. down the line just as quickly as playing across the diagonal. Of course, the diagonal being longer is easier to make the ball come down. Five Down the three. line, it can easily drift off the end, assuming it goes over the net. So that ability to bring the ball down on the other side, to top spin the ball, so it comes down on the other side whilst playing fast down the line. Like you say, Don, it's key for all of the top players now. Good control Five, there by four. McKibben. Read the spin well. Again, he blocked one down the line. So early signs are this is going to be a very interesting contest. And um, Four, I think six. your assessment, Colin, was, was probably spot on. Ashley Facey Thompson looking slightly stronger, albeit we've only seen 10 points and there's a long way mm -hmm. to go. That Four, was an excellent seven. forehand topspin down the line, a rocket. Beautifully played, wasn't it? But Aaron's got good control and good. We've seen good counter top spin. There he is again with it. Well played, Seven, Aaron. Five. So he's still in there. Let Seven. Five. Oh. Seven. Six. Served off in the net. Oh, a little Seven bit off. of good fortune for McKibben. An edge ball and a fault serve. And it's all square, seven points apiece. Seven, eight. Important point, I think, for... Aaron McKibben, McKib McKibben here. No, that didn't Eight hit the top. top. Hit the side of the table, that doesn't count. It goes down the line, and it just dropped. Eight, nine. Good placement yep. from McKibben. And that's, the, that's a chance, he was 7-4 down. Let eight, nine. Aaron McKibben, and now nine eight up. He's got to take this one, I think, to stand a chance. What a beautiful Ten. shot across court, right into eight. the corner. That's a beauty. Tactically, he's played quite superbly as Aaron McKibben at the end of this first game. I wouldn't say he looked down and out, but he looked the underdog. Mm. But by applying Seven, clever eight. tactics, a little bit of good McKibben. fortune, arguably. But nevertheless, he takes the first game 11 points to eight. Yep, so that's what one edge and one net can do for you in, uh, in a game. And I think it was important that he was able to capitalise on that. Had he got that and not won the game, exactly. I think uh, Ashley, as favourite, might have... Uh, gone through to possibly win in three straight, uh, four straight games, which is always the risk. So here they come, we're going back in time, and let's enjoy some highlights from that first game. Second game, Kibben to serve, love all. One love. So we are now back live. One love. McKibben takes the first point, having won the first game. And as you one all. 
And as you say, it was that two-point phase when Facey Thompson was serving. He served off, and then there was an edge ball for McKibben. One, and that probably swung that, uh, swung that first game. And, of course, here it's the best of five games. So it's three games are needed, and, of course... You know, yeah. one game under your belt one. is that a little bit more significant than if it's the best of seven games. So, yeah. as Meatloaf would say, one out of one. three is not bad. <laughs> I think he said two out of three is not bad, actually. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> but if you're Aaron McKibben, you'd take it at the moment. Was that an edge or a side? It was close. Three, two... Two, four. Like myself, Colin, you played a lot of your table tennis to 21. I think I'm yeah, right in saying that's that. That's true. Um, uh, what, what's your reaction to 11? I mean, it's been around for a long, long Three, time now. Yeah, four. I think it's near, not far off 20 years. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm getting on a bit. Um, I think 11's right. Um, I think there are more crunch points. Uh, I think it's better for the spectators. And I think spectator appeal is what it's all about. So, yeah, I think it was a, one of the better one of the better decisions oh. around making changes. There are changes being made all the time. Every every year or two, there's something that uh, that shifts. Um, but yeah, I, I've I've grown to like it and prefer it and understand why it's better. Um, more crunch points. Yeah. No, I would totally agree with that um, that position. At first, I was found it very difficult two serves instead of five serves yeah. you know you used to get into a rhythm five serves Four, you knew what you're going to do with your five serves and all of a sudden it was two yeah but but no i totally agree i, I think it's definitely been a very wise decision that was taken some 20 years ago mm. yeah i think it's 2002 2003 um yeah, I think for some, to some of the old hands, it made the game feel a bit scrappy with the change of serve. You didn't get, like you didn't get five serves on the on the run to kind of plan a long strategy uh, for how you were going to serve and follow up. It's much more immediate now, but uh, I think with a lot of things in the world, things are a little bit more immediate and people want that immediacy. So that's fine. These players are growing up with it. They're five, used to it. I don't six. mind it now. I'm used to it as well. We coach to, to help players get to 11, and, uh, and so it's become very normal for us, I think. Six all. Nothing in it, Don? No, six points apiece. Oh, brilliant rally. Oh. I, I think McKibben is actually tactically slightly stronger. Thompson, a little bit more mobile, stronger top spin maybe, mm. but McKibben just seems the shrewder. Look how he's playing the angles here. He's Beautiful. moving the ball around, and then this top spin to win the point. Beauty. Yeah, I think if Aaron is better at one thing, it's sending the other Six, person the wrong way. Eight. Waiting till the very, very last minute, waiting for the other person's balance to change, and then playing it down the side. They don't want it. He seems to be very good at that. Seven, eight. Mm. Nine. Good backhand seven. top spin. Came across to the forehand side a little bit and played the, well, I've heard it described as many <laughs> things, the banana backhand. There he goes. Yeah. He goes across and uses his wrist and the action of the racket, the direction of the racket is a little bit like a banana. Hence the expression, the banana backhand. Yeah. But Ten, three game points. Seven. Yeah, he did a good job of it as well, didn't he? Well executed. Hundreds of hours going to that banana. <laughs> Eight, ten. Went for the big one there, Don. I think he overcooked that one. Anxious to get to 11. Did he do more than he was capable of here? Oh, just hit the top of the net, didn't it? It wasn't far off, was it? Another no. millimetre in height, two millimetres. It would have been over the net. And very, um, very high risk, though. Still. 
You've got to be prepared to... Oh, net cord there. Yeah. Ten. You've got to be prepared to put it all on the line, haven't you? Two game points saved. One remains. Can McKibben just hang on in there? He's done well. He's got into... Oh, and he misses the forehand down the line. Same again. Hit the top of the net. This is the one he should have made, in my opinion. By his high standard, mm -hmm. you'd expect yeah, the ball McKibben was higher, to make that ball. Yeah, it was there to be hit, wasn't 11. it? Did the right thing, but just didn't quite execute. So, four game points. Yeah, that could be expensive for Aaron McKibben. And now Thompson. With his first game point. Oh, oh my goodness! What Brilliant. an angle! That was not coming back. Just watch how wide he gets this back, and here it comes now. Taxi for Thompson. I don't think he'd have got there with a the taxi. <laughs> Eleven. 12. So McKibben with another game point. That time it was Thompson's turn to hit the ball onto the top of the net and off. So what, two, three millimetres is the difference between winning and losing in this game sometimes? 12 all. Interesting return of serve there. I think it would have been better to let it come long and play the top spin. Sort of took it early over the table. Let's. 12 all. <laughs> 13. 12. Kevin will be disappointed there. He will. The one thing that um, Thompson did well there, got the, got the length on that lob, didn't he? Got it onto the baseline at least. And oh, there it is. 12. Thompson game. takes the second Thank game, saves three or four game points in doing so, takes it 14-12, and this final now evenly poised, one game apiece. Yeah, what a great match. In some ways, you've got to say that Aaron McKibben maybe let that one slip. He could have definitely had a chance to go 2-0 up. I think, was it 3 or 4 that I he had? I think it was 10-7. Mm. He led 10-7. Then I think he had another one at Juice, didn't at 10 all, didn't he? He had another game point. So yeah. maybe four game points for 2-0 up. Now it's anybody's. Yeah. Good lobbing there from Alex. Oh, look at that. Best, uh, best, his best rally of that game. Beautiful stuff. Third game. Basically, constant to serve. Love all. Back live. Off they go again. Love one. Good cons consistent top spins from McKibben. Yeah. Alex Facey Thompson getting a lot back, but in the end it broke down. One all. Twenty-four years of age, Thompson. Hails from Stratford in London. Two. Well, good sporting One. place to come from, Don. <laughs> Site of the Olympic Games. That was a great One, forehand loop, Dom, wasn't three. it? Uh, but the block was up to it. So, really strong. Look at that blocking from Aaron. Two, three. This time, Alex Thompson, too strong. Three all. Just to confirm that we did have the top eight players competing in this competition in two groups of four with the top two in each group progressing through the winner of one group played the runner-up of the second group in the semi-final and vice versa and that's how we've got to this final 
Will Bailey was in action a little bit earlier. Will Bailey, of course, the Paralympic champion from Rio, gold medal. Three, four. I had the pleasure of commentating on that final. <laughs> I thought you played well. He, <laughs> he, how, how on earth he got on the table when he won the gold medal, I don't know. Then yeah. he got the yellow card and he, he the hugged the umpire card. who gave him the <laughs> yellow card. And the trip, Japanese lady was completely confused by Will. <laughs> And yeah. then his, his mate Johnny Vegas was there watching and he was <laughs> hugging Johnny Vegas. It was quite a scene at the end. For all. He jumped on the table and then he put him up a classification. No, that's fantastic all, stuff. That's always the danger. Oh, that's good from Alex Five. Spacey Thompson. Four. Strong forehand top spin again. Five all. Good backspin on the return there from McKibben. Thompson just didn't quite lift sufficiently. Five points apiece. Let five all. Five, six. Seven, five. A further six points have progressed, so McKibben there going for his towel. I think he just wants to break the momentum a little bit as well. Just sense that Facey Thompson's getting into a little bit of a rhythm. Again, the eight, heavy, five, dragged forehand topspin. From Alex Facey Thompson, and that time McKibben's counter loop off the end. So I feel like Alex is feeling that if he can get his forehand top spin in with Five, the most nine. spin that he can, it's hard for Aaron to keep that down. But if he does a medium one, Aaron can counter attack it very easily. Five, Five game points ten. for Ashley Facey Thompson for a 2 1 lead. Oh, well Ten, played McKibben six. there. Great counter. Thompson did slow the ball down well he there. Did. He brushed up the back of the ball. Well, there we see it. Yeah. The that's, only that's thing was, it was a little bit shorter. Makes so much difference. Just an extra three or four centimetres on the length of it, Don, doesn't it? Ten. Seven. So can Aaron McKibben do to... Alex, the other way around to what happened the last game when Aaron had 10-7 lead and let it slip. Eight. Maybe. Ten. Two serves to come. Eight, ten. Three consecutive points for McKibben. Well, it's a big ask from 10-5 down, but it's been done many, many times. And uh, now that he has secured his serve for the next two points, if he wins the first one. Definitely in with a chance here. Nine. Ten. Four consecutive points for McKibben. Can he make it five? Alex needs all his professionalism here. Oh, he's Ooh, missed the back end. Game. That was Thank arguably one of the easier shots. It was. But the bottom line is that... Ashley Facey Thompson takes the third game, 11 points to nine, and leads by two games to one. He's one game away from the title. While we just enjoy a few of the highlights of that third game. That was a beautiful rally, wasn't it, this one? In the end, Alex couldn't quite keep it going, but he retrieved beautifully.
Fourth game, McKibben to serve, Laval. Let Laval. So now, will this be the fourth and final game? Or can McKibben take it to a fifth, which will definitely be the final game? Love one. So. Yep. Well, Ashley held up that one well. A little miss at the end from, from Aaron. Puts Ashley Facey Thompson 2 1 up. One all. A well placed backhand topspin there from McKibben. Into that area where the opponent's not rather sure whether to play a backhand or a forehand. Thompson there went for the backhand, but. Two. He slightly one. hesitated, and of course, if you hesitate at this level, it costs you the point. Is that going on? No. Two all. So Aaron certainly playing to the crossover of Ashley. Ashley dealing with it well though. Three, two. A little bit of backspin on the serve from McKibben. Good disguise. Three all. Yeah, Aaron went for a very, very big one there, didn't he? Same one he went for at the last point of the last game. It uh, didn't come off. So the judgment about how hard you can dare to hit it, a very, very fine one. Three. Again, four. the Kibben there. Good on the angles. He's getting mm. the ball out wide to Thompson's forehand. Thompson, of course, being a left-handed player, the backhand on the diagonals going out wide to his forehand. Five, three. Uh, went over. Six, three. Well, that gives Aaron McKibben a little bit of a chance here. That's so hard to reach. Ashley diving. He's backing off a little Three, bit too much here. He's actually just playing a little bit negative instead mm, of good spot. trying to play the strong top spin. Soon as you play negative, soon as you hope your opponent makes a mistake at this level, you come unstuck Four, and saved by the net seven. board. He was away from the <laughs> table again. He was. Yeah, so good spot, Don. There you see the net cord. Yeah. Seven, five. So let's see if Ashley can stay close to the table against the pressure of the McKibbin serve and follow up. Let seven, five. Oh, again. Seven. Aaron Six. did a beautiful backhand down the line. Got no reward for it. Look at that emotional control. <laughs> we'll postpone the emotion and it'll come out after the match, I expect. Seven all. Frustration. Swings and roundabouts. Twists and turns. To be fair, Ashley was staying up, wasn't he? As you were recommending. The backhand is back, Seven. isn't it, for McKibben? Eight. Good backhand Eight down four. the line from Thompson. Yep. Open it up wide of the forehand and then into the backhand. Nine. Good Eight. control from McKibben there. Yeah, both players did well there. It's good looping, good blocking. Facey Thompson did well on the return of serve, didn't he? He spotted the service was long. He got in with mm -hmm. the top spin. Yeah. Excellent containment from McKibben. Again, the backhand wide Eight. of the forehand. Ten. We could be heading for a fifth and final game. Mm. 
So that backhand certainly sorted itself out in this game. Well done, Aaron. Nine, ten. One game point saved. Beautiful shot there from Ashley, wasn't it? Backhand wide of the right hander's forehand. Oh, and he takes it. That was a great finish, wasn't it? Game. Good combination. The backhand mm. topspin, forehand topspin. Practice thousands of times a week in uh, the training hall. But the bottom line now, two games apiece. And we are heading for a fifth and final game. Superb. So the match t <laughs> tending to circulate around the consistency of the McKibbin backhand. If he can make those big backhand shots work, if he tends to win, he's done some great ones in this game. That was a beautiful combination, backhand with a forehand follow-up. And so both players back at the table to start the fifth and final game. The next five minutes will decide where this fifth men's game. singles title goes. To serve. Love all. One love. Two London lads, of course. Facey Thompson from Stratford. McKibben hails from Wandsworth. So West London against East London. Love two. Let. And then it's Love the two. East London boy who's made the better start. Love three. There's the high lob. Aaron did really well Three. to get around that one, one. To get his forehand smashing. Four. One. Let. Four. One. One five, change ends. And so in the deciding game, players change ends when the first player makes five points. And it's One, Facey Thompson five. who will be feeling psychologically stronger, changing ends at 5-1. Big boost for the confidence. Two, five. Let two five. Five, three. Two big points there for McKibben, just gives him a lifeline. Remember he was five one down when they changed ends. And he's now right five, back in this four. deciding game. 5-4. Oh, goes for the four, wide one again, but six. too wide. That had to be a soft, very gentle one. Facey Thompson needed that. That was a run of three consecutive points for McKibben. Let four, six. Five, six. Seven. 
seven, five. Facey Thompson just hanging on to the lead. That was very close to catching the table from Aaron McKibben. Eight, five. Played that forehand topspin from a slightly cramped position. And that was a good Five, backhand down the line nine. from Facey Thompson. Two points away from victory now. Five, ten. Five championship points. Yeah, just that backhand not quite making it. Millimeters here and there make the difference. It has done with the McKibben backhand. He's got so much to offer, so much to come. Young man. Ten. He's still six. there, though. Held his ground, took that backhand block early. Took Facey Thompson by surprise. Surely he can't come back from 10-5. No, he can't. 11 six. That's it. Game, Facey Thompson. Ashley Facey Thompson, Facey Thompson win the wins match. the deciding game. To 11 points to six. He wins by three games to two. And Ashley Facey Thompson, the deserved winner, Colin. Well, I think so in the end. Um, he does come from a higher uh, classification, so in theory he's got a little bit more mobility. Um, Aaron did a great job of playing wide of his forehand and also into the crossover to make him worry about whether to play a backhand or forehand. But in the end, I think the strength of the forehand topspin and the consistency was just a little bit too much for Aaron. Although Aaron could have gone 2-0 up. Right, just give us a couple of minutes. We're going to go straight into the presentation of trophies for our winner and our runner of the Paraclass final. It, there's a good example of it. And I think that example will come out in the um, highlights if we get a chance to see some highlights at some stage. Here we are. Yep. Attempted back and wide of the forehand. Good counters. You pointed out very early on, Don, that uh, Aaron's forehand counter top spin was going to play a, a big part. Actually didn't give him too much chance to, to use it. In the end, Ashley, great job, well done. Took his took his chance when it was tight, and uh, well done for well done to Aaron. In fact, well done to all the players. I think there are eight players. Well, there were eight players in this, down to these two in the final. And uh, Ashley, deserved winner. And uh, in a few minutes, he'll, they'll be setting up the hall so that they can accept their presentations. As you mentioned, Colin, these two players play together, train together in Sheffield yeah. at the English Institute of Sport. The British team, the British para team went to Rio, won two gold medals. Will, Will Bailey won one of those. Yeah. So a very strong squad. And we're now getting towards the presentation time. And we'll just hand over to the PA in the arena. Who's that, Don? Actually, that's my, my one. <laughs> And our winner, Ashley Facey Thompson. Ashley Mason Thompson. 